Let's talk business. This is how we're moving yours forward. Standard Bank, moving forward. From Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. South African medical engineering group Lodoc Systems will later this year release the fourth version of its digital X-ray screening technology, dubbed the Exemplar DR, which the company says is unrivaled as the world's only high-speed, full-body digital scanning device. Natalie Grieve has the story. Originally developed in the 1990s as a security device to prevent the theft of diamonds by workers at minor De Beers' operations, the Lodoc scanner was later adapted for use in medical trauma management to provide an almost instant diagnostic image of a patient's injuries, as Lodoc CEO Peter De Beer explains. We've got our roots from De Beer's diamond mines. They, were, they had a need to scan miners to see if they have losses of diamonds from miners carrying those diamonds. And the De Beer's team had a, a developed a machine to do that. They could do scanning at a very, very high quality um, full body x-ray images to find diamonds on miners and from the engineering side from the diamond mines we had to decide then through the University of Cape Town and Grote Skier Hospital to manufacture this medical device and the first machine was installed at Grote Skier Hospital and was named the StatScan. The exceptional feature of the Exemplar DR is that it takes only 13 seconds to produce an accurate full body overview of injuries and foreign bodies in a patient, as opposed to a conventional x-ray machine, which requires several minutes and various individual x-rays to compile a full body image. The technology employs a proprietary linear x-ray beam, which produces fewer harmful scattered x-ray photons than a conventional wide beam system, while generating an inherently higher image quality and resolution. In addition, the device emits a radiation dose of 0.12 milligray, up to 10 times less radiation than a conventional X-ray system. The biggest difference between this scanner and other X-ray scanners is there are no devices in the world that can do an image as large as we do, X-ray image, at the speed that we do that image, at the image quality that we do that image, and at the radiation dose. Our radiation dose for a full body image is approximately a tenth of a normal single X-ray. To the delight of Lodox, the Exemplar DR was recently showcased on an episode of US medical drama series, ABC's Grey's Anatomy. The Lodox, Lodox radiation X-ray stat scanner. It provides full body anterior and lateral views and low radiation and makes imaging safer for children and pregnant women. It is our most cutting edge tool in diagnostic technology. Murphy. When can we use it? Oh, I'll volunteer. Other news making headlines this week. Transnet holds its 307.5 billion rand investment line despite the sluggish economy. And Hudeco prioritizes its resolution to a tax challenge. State-owned freight logistics group Transnet has made only marginal adjustments to its 307.5 billion rand market demand strategy, despite South Africa's slower than expected economic recovery, a modest growth outlook and softening volumes. It's also extended the rolling seven-year investment plan by a further year to 2020. We are going to continue with uh, counter-cyclical capacity creation. The market demand strategy is no longer 300 billion. It is now 307.5 billion over seven years. What we have done is that because there are six years remaining and we have spent 27 billion in the first year, we have added another year and we are spending more than 27 billion in the last year. So another 30 odd billion in the last year. So we have a seven year program. So there were questions that were asked by how much will you adjust the market demand strategy uh, depending on the performance of the economy and so on. And so this is the impact on the original announcement. JSE listed Hudeco was optimistic of resolving its tax challenges but warned that it was a slow process and could take two to three years. 
The company was referring to South African Revenue Services, slapping it with 1.9 billion rand in assessments, including interest and 200% penalties for the financial periods from 2007 until 2011, relating to the group's 2007 Black Economic Empowerment Structure. But in response to the BE imperative that uh, existed and still does exist in the country, UDECO restructured in 2007 by introducing a fully leveraged BE uh, structure and uh, BE shareholders. There were some tax law changes that meant that the preference dividends would become taxable, <coughs> fully taxable, not, not dividends withholding tax, but full tax. Uh, but we had a solution to this. However, in November 2012, SARS sent us a notice outlining a whole structure that lay behind our BEE transaction. And that came as a complete surprise to Hudega. In the light of this new information, we decided not to implement the solution to the new tax on dividends that we thought that we were going to implement. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.